The drivers to your cars. Live at Pocono Raceway is Extravaganza. Do 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 do. All right, on the pole, right behind the pace car, Rick Jackson, Crown Royal, drink responsibly. Uh, that would be second. On the pole, John Batista, Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburgers, eat responsibly. That is his second pole of the season so far. Third, Craig Lee, Nos Energy, looking for the lead. Third in points, Randy Dobbins, fourth on the grid. Fifth, Johnny Reed Foley, your points leader. Sixth, David Butterworth. Seventh, Matthew Dominique. And a whopping seventh, Kevin Corbott, auto value Ford. Excellent qualifying run. Donald Stewart, Clorox, and Bink Lucas, Lifesavers. Both drivers still in the championship contention. Zach Miller, Beepus, and Ryan Heuser looking for win number four in a row. Let's give a shout out to his crew, Mustard Mahoney and the gang. Nas Energy Sugar Free Silver Orange Blue Impala. Look for this guy to dominate the masses and perform excellence at Pocono. Logan Sheets, Pizza Hut. And this guy will be the story of the day. Logan Sheets, Pizza Hut. John Tharp, Zigzag. Mark Guthrie, Muzzy. Steven Spears, Mellow Yellow. Adam Crapser, Alvin. Alex Crapser, Pennzoil, Matt Raboyne, two-time winner this year. Valvoline, Bill Workheiser, Piper, Cherokee. Zach Michael, seventh in points. And Christian Torres. Scott Jackson. Dave Miller. Ken Joint. Aaron Cummings. Tony Pizarro, way in the back. Dalton Lucas. Jimmy Stevens. Ben Gear, Alan Nesfetter, winner at Texas, Rob Scarberry, Markel Murphy, Michael Henson, Tony Long, Mike Carroll, Dan Johnston, Gino Sphere back after missing last week's show, Mark Huron, Ken Pettit with another terrible qualifying run. Look for him to fly through the field. Tim McDonald way in the back. Swept this race two years ago. And Jonathan Skravix. Uh, drivers who did not make the field include... Uh, David Courtney, Scott Drake, Scott Deutsch... And others... 502,000 people here today to watch Extravaganza Glory at the Tricky Triangle. Uh, excuse me as I eat my pizza. Sponsored by... Well, I guess my pizza wouldn't be sponsored by anything. That would be pretty dumb. My pizza is sponsored by Mellow Yellow. Look at Kevin. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna go on board with Kevin for this entire thing here. All 160 laps on board with Kevin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This pizza's pretty hot right now. I might have to wait a while here.
Gentlemen, start your engines.
Oh. Then you're having some issues. Spears flying through the field. Oh, caution flag is out. Dan Johnston involved. Tony Long. Mike Carey. Came in a little too hot. Tony Long and Dan Johnston are the victims. Two high octane cars involved. change was Craig Lee passing Mr. Jackson Tunnel Turn and Matthew Dominique takes the lead here three wide action up front and Dominique makes the pass him in the tunnel turn. I believe he is the leader. And something happened to Ben Gear. He was well up to speed. Must have been a loose wheel. Surprised he couldn't stay on the lead lap. Tough break for Twinkies. This camera angle would be great if it wasn't for that Pentagon or whatever they call that. And then the crash. Alright, let's see who comes in. Probably everybody or nobody. Except Ben Gear. I think the first to come in, good pit stall. Sheets, Hoiser, Spears, Lee. Beautiful scenery. Oh no. That's not good. Hoiser. Damage on the front. 
And Zach Miller will come out your leader. Wow. All right, a lot has happened. him quite a bit. That might be the end of his chances for four in a row. Oh my, oh there he is. Oh god. I think he hit Gino and then Steven Spears. It's a tough break for Spears too if he has any lingering effects. He's having a great run. Ryan Heuser's last six finishes will be, sorry, yeah, six, will be first, second, first, 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 and 42nd. Let's see what happened. Back on board with the Corbot Cam. Heuser will finish last at Pocono. And somehow Zach Miller took the lead. I don't know how he did that. Must have been an excellent pit stop. No, I'm going to look at it.
two tires faster than everyone else. Holy crap. And some drivers took four. Might be a better strategy. Alright, coming to the flag, Zach Miller, Matthew Dominique, John Batista, Craig Lee, John Tharp, Dave Butterworth, and Pizza. Alright, no pressure for the lead, let's get on board with the Corbot Cam. After turn one. Steven Spears Cam. Oh, battle for the lead. Oh! I think Ben Gear is holding them up. Let's get on board with the Steven Spears Cam. for the lead. Man, pizza's good. Wendy's passes Beepus. Back on board with the Steven Spears cam. Pretty amazing he's still doing well that damage that he had, but is now repaired.
Ooh, cool. we got better battles up front. Making it look easy. And Scott Jackson's way in the back, and Tim McDonald is making progress. Tim McDonald flying through the field. Wow.
Miller making a pass on Logan Sheets. <laughs> Lucas got his debut here four years ago after a John Batista accident set him out of the car. Bizarro for a two for one.
for the top spot into turn one, Foley gets it still. New leader, Johnny Reed. Not related to Arthur Reed. Tony Long falling back. Oh! Here we go. Related to Batista. Strong on that outside. Gives him the spot. Smart move. New leader, John Batista. Foley, the points leader, gets his five bonus. Oh boy, here we go. Almost three wide. Stacked them all up. Gave Miller up to second. Yo! Catching up with the second pack, very speedy today. Here we go.
wait a minute. Let's let's look at that. Oh, Rick. Oh, that's heavy damage. Whoa. for Rick Jackson. Second in points. Not... Not gonna be a good finish. They're gonna have to rip that hood up if they can continue. Comes the leader. Oh yeah. Oh. Tony Pizarro stays out. Pit stop by Batista. Great pit stop by Batista. and Foley way out ahead. Jimmy Stevens, Tony Pizarro, also still out there. Henson, Zach Michael, Aaron Cummings, Rob Scarberry, here comes Pizarro. Yo. First gear. Oh, yeah. They have an advantage on fuel. Pit stop by the 39 crew. Oh, Mountain Dew tastes so good. My life expectancy will be 45, but that's fine. Give me the Dew. Let's get on board with the McDonald Cam. Sponsored by McDonald's. I'm confused. Wait a minute. Jimmy Stevens is the leader. Where he pitted. 
Okay. Man, he stayed out a long time. His tires are so fresh now compared to everyone else. He's passing people. Let's get on board with the speedy. How is Rick keeping up? What is this? <laughs> Maybe he will get a top 10. What the hell? He's not that slow. Eh, he's a little slow. Now, there's so many things to question here. Fuel mileage, hoods, others. Zach Michael having another day. 25th place, still in the hunt. Here comes Scotty J. Alex Craps are way in the back. Trying to get that Speedway program turned around. Batista has a three second lead on the field. Holy schmo. lap overall is by Steven Spears. some left side damage, probably from the pit stop. Jimmy Stevens tangoing with the 20. Riding along 17th, good day. Both banded racing teams made the show. Ah, oh, pepperoni tastes so good. Right, 39 cars still on the lead lap. Adam Crapser and Gino Sphere made some repairs to their damage and are back out. Thirty-seventh. Brother Alex.
Alex not doing well.
Batista has been caught. I see how it is. Just gonna be 60 laps in, not talking about it. Uh huh. Is that how we're gonna play this?
Big Bill Hell's car. Brand deal. Cars, let's break down. Beat. If you think you're going to find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. It's out of belief that you're such a stupid Big motherfucker. Don't fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You heard us right. Shove it up your ugly ass. Bring your tray. Bring your title. Bring your wife. Feel fucker. That's right. Feel fuck your wife. Because it's Big Bill Hell. You're but six ways from Sunday. Take a hike to Big Bill Hell. I'll almost challenge pissing. That's right. Challenge pissing. How does it work? If you can piss six feet in the air straight up and not get wet, you get no down payment. But don't wait. Don't delay. Don't fuck for that. So we'll rip your nuts off. Only at Big Bill Hell. The only dealer that tells you to fuck off. Hurry up, asshole. This event is the minute after you write us a check. And I better not bother. So you're a dead motherfucker. Go to hell. Big Bill Hell's car. All the most filthy and exclusive home of the meanest sons of bitches in the state of Maryland. Yeah. Tony's alive. Uh, hello, Mr. Tim. Hello, Mr. Tony. Tim, have you responded to my private message? Yes, uh, whatever the fuck that is, I'll go with Bravo? Okay, just don't say it out loud. Um, right. You mean, like, right now what I did? I'll 
also have a request for you. I... you can do this anytime, but I would like you to make a number 18 Imperial car. 18 Impacto Toyota? Toyota. To okay. I don't know where to go with that, but alright. Don't use the Twitch contingencies. Normal 2000 contingencies. Uh -huh. Or whatever the contingencies are on the Toyota template that you use. Use the oldest one you can find. Don't use like a COT thing. Um, Tony, all of my Toyotas are COTs. Okay, use the earliest one that you can find. Alright, I mean, I don't think I have a high res of that. Uh, what's the earliest high res that you have? Uh, maybe 2020? Hmm. All these high res templates are pretty new. There was at some point a high res 2007 Toyota for N4, but I don't have that template. Make the scheme, but don't, like, if there's contingencies on it, just take them off. So let's see, Tony, have you been around since I've mentioned that I'm trying to sell my car? No, I haven't heard that. Uh, yeah, the, the dealers offer a 10-5 for trade-in. So if they can, uh, find me a GTI in blue or white and a stick, they're gonna be buying that car for 10-5 and I'll be perfectly happy with it. Nice. For five thousand, six thousand. Um, I'm gonna be paying about twenty six when it's all said and done. Oh, you're buying it. Yeah, I'm selling mine and buying a GTI. Oh, what's a GTI? A Volkswagen Golf GTI. Oh, are you are you gonna smoke marijuana with it or? No, I'm gonna drive it. Oh. This is a car, right? Yes. It's a car, Tony. It's not a... It's not a... Like a hippie van or anything. Well, you'll certainly see the bulk of the GTI in your life. I don't know. Oh! Alright, let me watch the screen. What did I just miss? Why is it coming open? Nothing happened. Where did Craig get that damage from? Well, he already had it. He's been slow for a few laps. What did he do? Who did he drive the back up? Did that not draw yellow? Well, by the way, Tony, at the conclusion of this uh, extravaganza race, Bonanza action will begin. Nice. I'll be to bed shortly after the race, but I'm glad you're doing it, because I missed it. Or, I didn't miss it. I thought I missed it. You no, never, I did was, it. never did it. I was working yesterday and didn't have a chance to run it.
So, uh, what did Denny Hamlin get DQ for? I'm not sure. Just for cheating, and they're probably not going to tell us what it is. Like, so they did they actually take the win away? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to give it to Chase unless they appeal it. Which they probably will, which just then puts the whole fantasy game in the window. Thanks, NASCAR. Well, I can see it being appealed to keep the win. So what happened to Kurt Busch? He hit the wall really hard and turn and it he hit back end first with such force that the front end moved really fast and then he hit the wall with the front so it's kind of like junior's wreck at talladega where he just did too many things and went really fast for a couple seconds and damaged his head so he got a concussion yeah wonder if this will start pushing him towards environment That's a sad thing. It's like all these people talking about Truex and Hamling retiring. It's like they're like the top guys in the sport. Like just because you're 38 or 40 doesn't mean you have to retire. Well, what you think of the IndyCar race? I didn't see anything. I was watching baseball and forgot racing existed. Sorry. Sorry. I watched that, uh, that series that, uh, what the fuck is that channel called? What the channel's called? About uh, Dave Steve. I watched that race. Oh, dude, that was the greatest thing he ever did. That was awesome. Yeah, that I, was, that I, was really cool. I watched the whole thing, too, like, three months ago. Yeah, I used to be subbed to that channel, but they have so many videos that aren't that kind of content that I don't give a shit about that I had to unsub, stop having my inbox for it. You have to find them on the playlist. I'm sure it takes like six months just to do one for all the animations and getting all the content and statistics for it. They did one about the Falcons too, which is really good. Yep, I've watched all that one, and the one about the Mariners, and that one about the guy who crashed the plane to the stadium, and, uh... That was a fairly recent one, I think. I like when he goes through the Cy Young Award winners in the early yeah, and he's like, he's like, what were they looking for? What did they want? Well, they gave it to a guy with an ERA, like, a point ahead of him one year, just because he had more wins, then they gave it to a closer one year. Oh, you heard about uh, Newgarden, right? Uh, I heard he collapsed after crashing at Pocono. Yeah, he's in Iowa, and he has a concussion in there. Okay, I'm glad that's all it is. Let's see, you saw the one Tour de France, right? Tour de France? Yeah, the Tour de France. Is that on now? No, that ended on Sunday. Oh. Who won? Vindigo won. What country? So, like, what country? I believe it's the game. Who is the highest U.S. fan? Oh, it was probably... Oh, who was it? I don't think it was Seth Kuss this year. Probably, uh, what was the guy on EF? Um, shit, I'll have to look it up. Hang on. Has this guy won before? The Spain guy? What? No, yes. he's a... Yes. He's a Dane. Oh, Dane? Dane from Denmark. Oh, we'll just say Denmark. Has he won before? 
Um, not before. He's, he yeah. has no professional win. He has some no professional cycles very long, apparently. Is winning more than one a common occurrence? No. More than one tour? No. So when Lance Armstrong won all those in a row, that was actually impressive. And um, it, it was, except remember, Lance Armstrong kind of won in four months. In fairness, he probably would have won without steroids, and it's a shame that he it, took it. It wasn't just steroids, but the, it, it is true that uh, not only was he doping, everybody else in like the on the podium was doping. Like, so he was the best cheater. They were all cheating, so... It's like Barry it's like, Bonds. He would have been fine if he just didn't take it, but because other people took it, he probably took it. It's a shame. Man, Tony, you did not have a good fantasy week, did you? I haven't done World of Outlaw points, but you're 159. Oh. I thought I had a bad time. Dude, I have to yeah, wait. Wait for the Denny Hamlin appeal. <laughs> well, I have Kyle Busch, so. Oh. No, you, no. you know who? You know who got more points than both of them, though? Who? Kurt Busch. He didn't race. Oh. You you should put the guy. If somebody has him, put the third guy. Let's see. Who does Kevin have in his third spot? Oh. Kurt's um, probably Kurt's the number one driver. Who, it was Ty Gibbs in that car, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. He has Ty Dillon. Who ha does who somebody has Ty Gibbs? I don't know who it is. Oh, it's that. Yeah, but does it count for Cup? No, you wouldn't have been able to play Ty Gibbs. If it had been a sub that what was like another old free agent Cup driver, I probably would have given it to him, but it wasn't, so... Spears, and Cito got 24. He was looking really good. Um, I think he was involved in a crash. I have Dave Gravel. Gravel. Uh, you do have David Gravel, and he was 7. And Danny Shacks. Where's Danny Shacks? He was, like, third like, or third. second. So let's see. Yes, uh, Tony, you had Denny Hamlin and Joey Logano. 55 points is enough. No, wait a minute. Oh, wait if a Denny minute. Hamlin gets zero points, shouldn't that mean shouldn't I get zero? Mean, I get zero. He is, that's my hard point for me. He scored 35th on those games. So they, they put him ahead of Kyle Busch because he beat him in the race, and then they, they both got DQ. So I got fucked by Kyle Busch getting DQ, too. Uh, so, let's see, at Almondinger and Xfinity, so that's there. 4. Zane Smith for truck, that's 13. Race 1 at Iowa, you had Colton and Scott McLaughlin, that's 22nd to 24. Then for the second race, they were, uh, wait a minute. You have, are you playing McLaughlin or Erickson? You're playing... Hey, McLaughlin. McLaughlin. No, no, Erickson, because I... No, McLaughlin, because I put him in. I have weekly race two points. Race 2, I gave McLaughlin's points, not Erickson. Hang on. When I announced it, it was like week two in the season. Yeah, okay, so that actually... That, that helped you. McLaughlin beat Erickson in race two, so that's 12th and 3rd. That helped a little bit. Tim, may I'll I make, you, a, may suggestion? make a suggestion? If you're going to do two gonna... races for IndyCar counting, can you just count all the World of Outlaws races? If you do all the World of Outlaws races, then that is the only series that matters, because that's 100 races. No, just do a division or something. Like, divide it by two. I We do occasionally do double headers for World of Outlaws, but we don't do them every week. Can you post a schedule on which one's which one's? It's in there. All the World of Outlaws races are the point races. Oh. So let's see. In F1, you've got George Russell, who was third, and F1 Okan, who was eighth. So that's not too bad. 
But yeah, you total 151. Uh, Zach got 160. Alex got 143. I got 120. Kevin got 131. Beers got 78, and Dalton got 93. Go Dalton. Dalton is actually not in last anymore. Dalton is actually ahead of Alex and uh, almost level with me and Kevin. Uh, Spears is uh, well ahead. You and Zach are really close, though. Alan Nesfeder wins the halfway bacon. Driven any laps on the uh, new Indianapolis road course for I racing? No, I haven't. Did they switch it to the Oval too, or is it just the road course? Uh, it's only the road course. Yeah. Uh, the Oval. You know, it's a little silly. There are only five Indy car races left. It's kind of like the truck series. There are more truck races than Indy car races. There's uh, seven of those left. How many Formula One left? Ten. Their next race is, is that this weekend? Yeah, this weekend with the Hungarian Grand Prix. And then they don't race again until the end of August. Oh yeah, IndyCar, yeah, everybody's at Indy, it's, yeah, everybody is at Indy, okay. Did you watch the SRX finale? I did. I think they need to stop going to dirt. I... The racing wasn't terrible. The fucking broadcast itself shit. The cameras were bad, the directing was bad, that was all bad, bad, bad. I thought the racing was good the first half. It was just like the week before where first half or two thirds, it's fine, and then they just go crazy. I didn't have a problem with the coverage. Oh, anytime they got like two or three wide, they would just not show it anymore. And they had some cameras that were just so shaky and didn't show anything, and they're still doing those terrible graphics. So like, what are we doing? Also, apparently we changed the rules since 555, where now we're not counting any yellow flag laps. It's like, what are we doing? It was a good idea, but not if you're going to have a 10 lap to go. Also didn't know existed because that's what triggered it, not counting all the caution laps. They should do one dirt race and switch yeah. the other dirt race to a road course. I think what they need to do is run a oval of some sort for fan reasons. Like, maybe next to your same schedule, we'll drop by 55, run the road like Gateway. It's 
same market, so that kind of makes sense. I don't know about the Robo, but I'd rather them just do, like, the real Robo. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to see them run it. any NASCAR or anything. Hello, Chico Batista. Hello. Tony, have you ever run... You, you have Gateway and Iris, right? Yeah. You should try the road course sometime. I'm sure it's okay. I'm just not a big fan of robles or street courses. I think it's because it doesn't seem like a legit road course, because it seems kind of manufactured, which it is. And I also, and I also see like grass it. everywhere. I don't like to see all these weird random curves <laughs> around it in the infield. I think you would like the Gateway Road Course. It feels like a legitimate road course that just happens to be inside the oval. It's not like Phoenix. It's not like the Las Vegas Road Course where two-thirds of the road course is the oval. Uh, Las Vegas doesn't have a road course. It's in Texas. They used to. Well, they don't in iRacing. Well, there's also Atlanta that's like that, or Charlotte. For Gateway, the road course, you turn left at the end of Pit Road into the infield, and you rejoin about three quarters of the way down the back stretch. So you really just get over three or four in the front stretch. JB, I have a question. Yeah. When you picture the word impacto, what color do you think of? Blue. Okay. Like a dark blue. I was thinking like red with fire. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Good answer. It is what it is. I guess. Back to this, impact to that, just impact to everywhere, dude. So much impact to. Gotta look up the lyrics. Battle for the lead, John Batista, Alan Nesfeder. JB grabs the joint. Give it all you got, Shorty, make the impacto. Give it all you got, Shorty, make the impacto. Give it all you got, mommy. Give it all you got, mommy. Give it all you got, mommy, make the impacto. 
Give it all you got, Shorty. Make the impacto. Give it all you got, Shorty. Make the impacto. Oh. Give it all you got, Cartel. Give it all you got, Big Boss. Give it all you got, Mommy. Make the impacto. What the fuck is happening? Impacto. You know, I gotta say, dude, that, that game on Saturday was, uh, really just mentally draining. Well, we went from wanting to throw our controllers to, like, having to Hail Mary plays actually work. Yeah, I also saw that you got a, uh, first and a third yesterday. Congrats, dude. What's that? What do you mean, what's that? You streamed it all, I watched Oh, on iRacing, okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Are you still in retirement? Yeah. Okay. In fact, I'm... I'm so in retirement, I'm seriously considering selling just my wheel, but not my pedals. Why not your pedals? Because these pedals are very expensive, and I do like those. But if you're not going to use them, why keep them? Because I don't want to have to buy them. I'm sure there's some kind of fucking, uh, you know, shortage of them or something. Really, just anything in general. Do not buy flooring at Lowe's. Oh, I bought this flooring four months ago. What, what, is, what, is, no, what a no. great, what a great representative of Lowe's chain, Tony. Don't shop here. Oh, <laughs> it's oh, JB, I'm sure Zach told you the good news. What? Montana comes out on the board. Oh yeah, I saw that. Hey, did you get your car yet? No, not yet. Motherfuckers. Oh. I mean, they have to find one. I thought that was one of the leaders for a Those. second. Mike Carroll, out. 60 to go. Not Mike Carroll! He was doing a great job in 40th. 40, yeah. Fully gold. I'd really like a burger right now. Well, you can order one, I suppose, or go make, go get one, or make yeah, one. Yeah. Well, I already well, ordered pizza. Was it a cheeseburger pizza? Oh. Uh. Well, sounds like you're gonna have to line at that. Let me pit stop, Very slow pit stop for Johnny Reed. Oh no, Johnny Reed. I, the points leader has been in the pits for a very long time.
I, Donald Stewart, Matt Raboyne, Randy Dobbins in. They can make it on one more stop. Batista in. Yo. channel was edited. And he will come out behind. Oh! Okay, Tony, don't choke. Killer pit stop by McDonald. Holy Toledo.
battle for the lead up front, 39 and 55. Wendy's versus Clorox, two very scrumptious materials trying to lead lap 108. Please do not consume Clorox, kids. Hey, was it, um, was it Pocono twice that we had two back-to-back side-by-side finishes, or was it Daytona, then Pocono? We had it at Daytona and Pocono, but... I think it was Daytona and Pocono were the two back-to-back, -back, but we had two at Pocono as well. Thought at, so. At different times. It's all on the website. I think you won one and I won one, but I forget who won at Daytona. I think you won at Daytona. I'm not sure I ever won at Daytona. I still remember when you went to Rick, who willingly gave you his setup out of kindness and said the setup <laughs> is garbage. <laughs> well, shit, man. <laughs> my bad. It, it, in my defense, in my defense, I had no, I had no, um, what's the word I'm looking for? No business being on the computer, let alone the internet. In 2011. Uh, no, nah, this had to be 2010. Let me rephrase that. I had, <laughs> I had no business communicating with people online. At least you said how you really felt about it. Was he mad? No, he thought it was funny. Rick he, only got he... mad at Foley. Yeah, he got mad at me a couple times. Really? Yeah, in fact, I do remember, um... It was the, uh, 2011... All What's the all-star race when we ran the Black Daytona? Do you remember oh, that one? The first one, the one John Tharp won. I don't know. Did it have the red walls or something? Yeah, I ran the good wrench uh, forward. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't remember. Were you in the all-star race or were you in the consolation thing? I don't. Probably the you know, consolation. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I remember he got, <laughs> he got really mad at me, so he flipped me on purpose. <laughs> I remember that time, I think it was like Zach's third race, Glenn got into him, and it was an accident, and Zach enters the pits to repair the damage, goes back on the track, and just cleans Glenn out, and Glenn was so pissed off. I bet he was. Remember you keep talking about that employee that would sit on his phone all day? He I don't know, like guys. I, yeah. I just can't get him off that damn phone. <laughs> can't, I can't do Glenn. That that was pretty good. It's hard to remember what he sounded like, because it was so long ago. Hi, guys. Oh, it's not him. <laughs> Sounds about right. He did have a gravelly voice. I do remember that. Sounds like he had a smoke or two in his day. I remember Foley, me and Glenn and Rick were talking about Gilligan's Island. 
and Foley said, I never watched Gilligan's Island. Or no, he said, I don't really like Gilligan's Island. And Glenn went on at like a five minute rant. How can you not like Gilligan's Island? He <laughs> just goes on a rampage about An it. old man rant. I thought it was funny. I mean, I don't know, I get where Foley's coming from. Getting held 15 seconds after your pit stop kind of sucks. Thank you, Tim, for your knowledge of NASCAR. And I'm sure they round down to the second. They don't round up. So you're at wonder, a disadvantage. I wonder if NASCAR pulled, like, 10,000 and we would know what Gilligan Island is. I didn't hear what you said. So, JB, the show or the rule at Sonoma? The Sonoma pit lane. I said, I wonder how many people, if NASCAR polled like 10,000 fans, how many of them would know what Gilligan's Island is? None. I'm so fucking hungry, dude. Your pizza's not here yet? Ah, Josh is picking it up right now. Watch them show up at 6 in the morning after driving a rock and going through a tornado. And then you open the door and you're like, Hey, I've been dying for a Wait, where's my cinnamon sticks? My diet Wait, doctor my, cinnamon sticks? Where's my Italian bread? We don't, we don't carry any. How am I supposed to enjoy this without my cinnamon sticks? You call yourself a delivery boy. How am I supposed to enjoy this without my six herbs and cheese Italian breadsticks? <laughs> if you actually said that and recorded it, I'd watch that and make it viral for you, sir. Thank you so much, dude. Rest in peace, Walt Flowers, also. Yeah, that's a tough one. wonder what he's up to. Well, based on what we think we know, I'm gonna say not much. I wonder how he, uh... You know... Did it. Heart disease. I remember when I wrecked him at Darlington for the win. <laughs> Walt was Why the fuck would you wreck Walt for the win? Let him have it, dude! It was an accident. It wasn't for the win. It was like for third or second, and I just don't get it. Still too impressive hard. for Walt. Then I dumped Craig, and Craig was so pissed. Tony, you remember that time I got fed up with the bullshit at Daytona and just fucking killed you? No, I, I was driving with a game pad. I had no control. I wasn't yeah. locking, I just couldn't hold my line. I remember when you gave me all your gamepad setups. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pizarro, uh, Pizarro Daytona 5. Did you get Pizarro Tex as? I don't know. But I remember they all were number 5. And you had to actually steer all of them. Yeah, you couldn't. Because they were set for the gamepad, so I had to go straight. Did you ever get my homestead set up? No, oh, the three-wheel one? Yeah. No. Oh. I gave it to Ken and Butter, and they drove it and said, I don't want to drive this. I'm like, I, uh, I wasn't in your click then. No. 
I don't think I would have given that one to you, though. Unless we actually ran there. Which nobody did, because nobody wanted me to drive that setup. The only... The only actual setup you gave me was the Sonoma setup. I mean, Bristol, maybe. I remember giving you Bristol, because you were better at me at Bristol with my own setup. Then I think the second time we raced each other, you got a speeding penalty, and I beat you, yeah. but you were ahead. You gave me a Sonoma setup for doing something, and I forgot what it was. I think I won. For, no, no. Oh, I know why. Because nobody was racing, and you were doing it out of pity to get us to try to race. That sounds about right. It's probably a Sunday series thing. But I don't see them running that track. But yeah, I think you won Sonoma in my setup. I gave it to Speedy, too. I remember the Rockingham race where I'm on low gas and it bombed out. And you were so pissed because you bombed out a couple times running like fourth. Um, yeah, fun fact, I never finished an N4 race at Rock, at the Rock. Finished that one, I'm sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I did. Oddly, that's the exact same problem I had with any setup ever at Charlotte. Oh, and the Glen, I never finished one at the Glen either. That's because you didn't like the, the humps. Well, yeah, I flipped every fucking time, dude, that was bullshit. I, I still don't get that, because the track that was curved would flip me over with Sonoma, not Watkins Glen. Dude, I could, I would destroy this curb at Sonoma. Oh, t I remember when you wrecked me at Sonoma in the shootout series. We were, it was after the restart, and we drew a bad qualifying, like near the last, and you hit the curb and went in the air and hit me. Yeah, I just completely clicked you out by accident. Yeah, it's all right though. I knew it was an accident because it wasn't on purpose. Who would hit the curb on purpose and light the guy out with the curb curb? I don't know. I don't... I'm trying to think if I wrecked you in a room. I know I did in the 2003 series, in like 2010 at Watkins Glen. Then you spun me out and paid me back later in the outer loop. I, I knew it was like... Dude, take it! I was driving like an ass! Oh, Road America! In 2003. Yeah, there was more than one of those I mean, if I can't pass you clean, I'm not gonna, you know... Not worth it. And then let's see, who can forget my most, most frustrating loss at Watkins Glen? I know. I remember that because I was racing you and I, I wrecked myself in the interlude with like five to go. Then you fell out in the last corner. And I'm like, yeah, I fell out in the last corner. Yeah, if John Thorpe hadn't been on the lead lap, I'd have just waited. Yeah, that, uh. That was brutal. That was brutal. That's about the most angry I've ever been about a series. Like, really? I had that race won. It just took like, another, like, 30 seconds.
Tony, did you watch the uh, XFL announcement last night? No, I did not. And you missed out. It was Liddy. What's the announcement? Uh, they announced all the cities, head coaches. Like that. What do you mean? Different team cities? Well, this is different cities from 2020, if that's what you're asking. So they're the same cities as last year? They didn't play last year, they played in 2020 and then it got shut down, remember? Oh, yes, I'm thinking of the USFL. Oh, you thinking that. of the USFL, nigga? Yeah. Yeah, um... Yeah, so uh, most of the teams will remain from 2020. Uh, except the Los Angeles Wildcats are not a thing anymore. Neither are the New York fucking Guardians, which are my team. But it doesn't really matter anymore because Perez is in the NFL now, so... What team is he on? The Rams. Is he definitive backup or is he just... He's already been on the Rams once. It's, I don't know. There you have John Wolford from the AAF all the We'll see. He, it's probably just going to be a camp guy. If that. Never know. Only two quarterbacks make the roster now, so it's tough. Damn it, dude. Dude, the order's been picked up. Maybe he ate it already. Jesse with an J E I S S E.
Excellent stop by the 87. All right, Batista should come in this time. Here he comes. McDonald stays out. Flag is out. Caution on the speedway. Batista finals his stop. He should be the leader. Or is he? Dun dun dun! Ooh, I think you got screwed by it because you were still out there. Tony, I always get screwed. That's how this works. Tim. Last three seasons, you never get screwed. You're right, it's this season. I've been getting screwed all year. Tough break for the 22. Uh, debris caution. In the middle of green flag stops. Not good.
Dave and... Oh! I think Dave and Ken beat the pace car. Actually, Scott, Foley, Adam, Brad, they got screwed more because they went a lap down. Stop is for all the money. Sheets. Excellent stop by the rookie crew. Seven cars pitted before the caution. That stayed on the lead lap, so you're going to come out nine. So that's not bad. And you have a couple lap fresher tires. Uh, Tony, I think I'll be better than nine. Oh, yeah. Fuck sucking, god damn it. They still didn't get your pizza? Uh it's right, it's here right now. Oh good. Waiting for it to be uh placed. You know how it goes. I can't make any contact. It'll be weird. Oh, you wanna 
watch out the window and hope he doesn't see you, and then wait. Uh, no, I'm just minutes. gonna. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna wait until I get the text saying that it was delivered, and then I'll wait a couple minutes so he's out of my driveway. I don't want to make any contact. I understand. The contact was delivery. By contact, you mean you don't want to see him, you don't want to talk to him. Exactly. I want what what kind of contact. contact. What kind of pacing is this? Well, this is all the lap cars that pitted up in front. Batista's the leader in like 13th place. I think Foley's trying to get up, but Rick won't let him. It's just like N4 back in the old days where they were doing this. Oh, what kind of Pocono? Start top ten. Sean Batista, your leader. Matt Reboin, Donald Stewart, Randy Dobbins, Bill Workheiser, Mark Huron, Logan Sheets, Tim McDonald, Michael Henson, and Alan Nesfeder. Green flag. The RB. Flag is out. Dave Butterworth, Dan Johnston, Adam Crapser, Jonathan Scrabix, and points leader Johnny Reed Foley get their laps back. All these cars are blue. Blue. Oh, that car is blue and destroyed. He was like 10 car lanes back.
Kevin did a good job getting through that. Understand that. I didn't hear what she said. I always assumed that they just didn't have the primary QB do that because it's an unnecessary risk that he could get hurt on well, the play when you don't need him. I'm I'm more saying like why a QB period. Um, probably for the scenarios where it's like a bad snap that QB at least has some decision making and ability to throw it. I th I think they're just used to getting snaps, and that's why they do it. If you're talking about holding. Yeah. I'm sure well, that's exactly that. what it is. Under that argument, then, why not have it be the punter? Well, that's what they usually Sometimes do Sometimes it is the punter. In Madden, they defaulted to the punter, but when I was a kid, I swear it was usually the backup quarterback. Yeah, it is. It was. Alright. 16 to go. John Batista, Donald Stewart, Matt Raboy, Bill... Nesfetter, Michael Henson, Tony Pizarro, Zach Miller, to the flag. Green flag is out. Can't wait for NFL action. When does the Hall of Fame game start? August 6th. Nice. Next week or two weeks from yep. now? Next week.
McDonald for fifth. Two drivers that need momentum. What's up, Zag? Hello. Oh, my bad. What's up, dude? Is the Taco Taco really dead? I think so, Doc. Hello, Steven Spears. Damn, you're right, dude. Right, Holy you. shit. Spears, can you explain yourself? Why did you go off the front and kill everybody? Because, you know, sometimes you feel like just murdering people. Woke up today and chose violence. You were ten car lengths back, and you just pile drive it into turn three. You oh my god! Car, you wrecked a bunch of other cars, and you made it through, so it worked. Is the race still going on? Yeah. You are in twenty fourth. Okay, so Joe Gibbs Racing has told us what uh, caused the eleven eighteen to fail test. A single piece of clear tape positioned over the lower corners of the front fascia ahead of the left front and right front wheel openings on both cars. They were 2 inches by 5.5 inches long with a thickness of 0 .012 inches and were installed under the rack. So they had tape under the wrap on the body that would I tell to make it so they failed the laser inspection? You want to know the quality of a good pizza? Yes. Uh, when the uh, when the bottom is just so smooth and oily, when it soaks through the bottom of the box. That's how I like my French fries too. Yeah. That is pretty sad that Kyler Murray's contract has four hours of independence in it for game cool. week. Like, how awful of a teammate are you if you can't sit down and watch four hours of film during the week? Like, Jesus Christ. He's getting the uh, Marcus Russell treatment. Peyton Manning probably watches six hours a day. Voluntarily. All of the good quarterbacks do. Like, people are delusional if they don't think Brady sits down and watches film all week long. His schedule. So he has his daily routine. Like, everywhere on the internet. And it's like, 10 hours of sleep. Get up. Eat breakfast that's almost all vegetables. And a TV 12 bar. Like a smoothie. With vegetables. Breath. Then he starts exercising for an hour, and then he watches a game and gets into lunch. I don't know how he has time to play with the kids. It's like, I think he had family time, like, right before bed. <laughs> Love when he takes his kids golfing. That video. I think it was during COVID. Might have been before COVID. I think the season before. I'm sure he rents out the entire course, that way the 
other people there don't exist that will get frustrated at what you want. Well, he messed up his shot, and I think he was like, oh, fuck, and then he's like, oh, sorry, boys. <laughs> He's actually a really funny guy. I think he's gonna be... He's pretty well-liked, but I think he will be extremely well-liked once he finally retires from the league. Maybe. I kind of hope that he doesn't take that TV deal, even though I know he already took it. Insane. I don't want him to be like Rusty Wallace, where we just hate him because he's a commentator. Right. Six laps to go. John Batista, Alan Nesfeder right behind. Matt Ravoid. Batista has not won all year. Nesfeder and Ravoid have won two. But Batista's inside the top ten in points. Nesfeder and Ravoid are outside the top 20. Battle for the lead. 78 and 39. Oh my god, I'm, I'm just catching up on the news today. I want to know what defensive coach said, if you take away Mahomes' one read, what does he do? He plays street ball. Everybody's like, oh, what does he do? I don't know, makes the championship game four years in a row. He's so good. I wish he was a little fucking better in the championship game. Bad half. Like I don't think I've ever seen a worst half of football from a quarterback before. That like I mean I've seen certainly worse halves, but like you wouldn't expect him to be that bad, but not from a guy like him, no. Right. I just hope Brady is an ass this year. I don't think he Oop. will be, but I don't like when guys retire and then come back. It just like it pushes them into this weird. It's it's, it's different to him though because it was so early. Like right. It's like he didn't even really retire. I think he was retired what forty days or something. Yeah, <laughs> something like I that. mean he was gonna spend that time not with the team anyway. It's not like Brett Favre in 2011 where he waits until like. Two preseason games left, and then he just shows up. I think he's gonna differ from like guys like Peyton Manning. I think Brady's final year, he's still gonna be good. Like, like Peyton's final year, it was pretty bad. I mean, let's be real. I really thought that said Akershire dot net. Damn. I think he'll be fine. He didn't show any wear and tear last year. His crappy year. It snows in Mexico? Right. It snows at the, ah, at the top of the mountain. Hard to believe that he's going to be 45. I'll have to load that game. Nah. Plus, he's got Plus God. He's got God. All those Maybe great those great. So if you want to see the car thing, I will play with him. I hope he throws sure. for 5,000 yards again. Yeah, me too. Just to keep, like, at 45 years old, just to throw for 5,000 yards again, like, that would be insane. He's so fucking good. It's annoying. Oh, no. He's so so good. Some weed shit. <coughs> I'm just glad he's out of the AFC. Well, that didn't help you in Super Bowl a couple years ago. No, God, no. anyway. Super Bowl, whatever number it was. 50... 56? No, 55. Yeah, it's 55. I keep track of the years. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's hard to keep track of the years. You don't remember the Roman numerals? I remember 36, 39, and 38, because we won those three. But it's hard to remember the numerals. 
I'm excited to see what Mac Jones does. He's gotten so much hype. I think he's gonna do not very good. I don't think he's that good. No, I, well, like, obviously not. He's not Brady. You want Baker Mayfield? No one will ever be Brady. I don't but... think Baker Mayfield is as bad as people think he is. Well, I saw, um... White flag in the air! One more! Turn around the speed flag! No, um, Mark Wahlberg was just asked the other day if he wants Baker Mayfield. He said, yeah. Baker's problem last year is that he played hurt. If he didn't play hurt, the narrative wouldn't be as bad on him right now. He shouldn't have played. As soon as he hurt his shoulder, he should have sat and got surgery. A dumb decision to try to play through that. Watching the uh, highlights of the um, last game ever at Heinz Field, and I think we sacked Baker nine times. Dude is just gun shy, really gun shy. Congrats to Alan Nesfeder for win number two on the year. He doesn't run up front much, but when he does, he wins. Alan Nesfeder the winner, John Batista second, Matt Raboyne third, Zach Michael fourth, and Zach Miller fifth, Matthew Dominique, Donald Stewart, Logan Sheets, Michael Henson, and Big Boys. Fabulous top 10. Rob Scarberry, Tim, back to 12th. Bill Werkheiser, Aaron Cummings, 14th. Ken Joint, 15th. And Tony Pizarro, still your points leader, 17th. Johnny Reed. And Jonathan Scrabix, Ken Pettit, Dan Johnston, your top 20. Randy Dobbins, Adam Crapser, Mark Huron, Dave Butterworth, and Steven Spears, 25th. Christian Torres, Kevin Corbat, 27th, <coughs> John Tharp, 28th, Mark Guthrie, and Dalton, 30th. Jimmy Stevens, 31st, then lap down, Alex Crapser, Ben Gear, Scott Jackson, Gino Sphere, Rick Jackson, Craig Lee, Tony Long, then the casualties, Mark Murphy, Crash, Dave Miller, Engine. Mike Carroll, Crash, or Engine, and Ryan Heuser, Last Pit Road Crash. Congrats to Alan Nesfeder for another victory on the season. Have a good night, all. And now it's time for Bonanza action! And that's kind of weird that Joe Gibbs is not going to appeal. Um, I think they were told if you...